Hey everyone, I'm Grant. And yes, I am still at this project. I know I have not posted updates at all, mostly because I really haven't had the time to work on it. This week is really the first week where it has been cool enough in my shop where I can work in here. And it's after eight o'clock at night and it's still probably in the mid eighties in here because I still don't have central air or heat in this shop yet. So I had to wait for it to cool down. Now, as you can probably tell, I have taken a lot of things <laughs> off my TJ. I actually removed the hard top, it's sitting behind the camera. I took the dashboard out, which I kind of took a little bit of video of doing that. But outside of that, I really haven't done much. Now, the reason why I took the dashboard out is I did not document or label any of the wiring for the BEW TDI when I hooked it up to the Quick 6 for the Ford 6R80. If you don't know, I pulled out the Ford 6R80. I went to an AW4 with a TD conversions adapter. I am running a NV241OR 4 to 1 transfer case out of a TJ Rubicon, which is actually sitting behind my shop. And before you ask the question, if you haven't seen it already, it was in a horrific front end wreck. The frame is kinked. There's really no rebuilding that. So I'm using it for parts. So eventually, the parts I'm going to be using off of it are probably, well, actually most of it, but most notably, the 4 to 1 transfer case is currently installed, but I will be also installing the Dana, Dana 44 front and rear axles, which are going to be a little bit tricky to install, only because all the mounting points, I think for both the front and the rear, are reversed for the right-hand drive. So I'm gonna to have to look into that and see how that works. That's an easy enough thing to fix. But anyway, all of that said, I had to take the dashboard out to figure out the wiring. So that is what I'm gonna start spending the next couple of evenings trying to figure out. Because, For example, I pulled this out and this is a relay where at some point I was trying to figure out how to get direct power from the battery into my dashboard. And I made this weird harness with these Deutsch connectors and I didn't label anything. So I have a whole bunch of wires running everywhere. So I'm kind of having to disassemble everything I did to figure out what I need to do next. Now, the other thing I did order was another Deutsch connector kit, but most importantly in this kit and the tool I did not have was this right here. What this tool allows me to do is, and let's see if I can find a good example of this. When you have this connector, you put your wires through here with the pins, and then you put this green piece in place down in there. And what that does is it locks the pins in place so they don't come out. What this little tool does is it allows you to grab it and pull it out which is what I needed to dissect everything that I have here. And what I'm also realizing is I didn't put a lot of them in place because I couldn't easily take them out. Actually, this one has it. I need to make sure I remember what this goes to. So this is a quick example. I don't know if you can see there's a little green, green piece in there, but you swing that in there. Oh, well, I thought I knew how this tool worked. Oh. There it went. And this piece comes out and that way you can remove the pins. And basically having this tool will allow me to repin everything the way I need it to be pinned. So I'm not really gonna do a whole lot of time lapse tonight. I'm actually about to turn off the camera because most of this is just me dissecting the work I already did and then trying to figure out what of the TDI harness do I need to hook up to the CompuShift harness so the two computers can talk to each other and it can shift the AW4. So yeah, 
I'm gonna get to it. I wanted to give a quick update on how the wiring mess is going right now. And I need to give a huge shout out to two people on the Wrangler TJ forum, Apparition and Wildman. I commented that I was having to deal with this mess here and they recommended a labeler. And then I found out from them that they actually make cartridges for labelers that have heat shrink tubing. Now they use really nice labelers and this project has cost me a small fortune. So I wasn't able to get those, but I got this cheap one off of Amazon and it works fantastic. Here, I'm gonna flip the camera around so I can show you what it's doing. Check this out. So this is just a small piece that I took off and I had to figure out what this was for. And I finally did figure it out. But notice I have now labeled this neutral safety switch relay. And that's actually gonna tie into here. So I'm gonna pull this wire out, get rid of this crappy paper label because they've been falling off like crazy, which was part of the problem I was having. So I'll pull one of these wires out, heat shrink that on here. And I am spending the entire day going through and labeling all of this. So if I ever have to take this apart again, I know that this neutral safety switch relay plugs into the thing that also has a label called neutral safety switch. And that's gonna be so helpful. So this thing is awesome. I absolutely love it. It's gonna make this project so much better and I should have done this years ago. This would have saved me so much time. So with that said, I'm not gonna film any of this because I'm probably gonna spend the rest of today just labeling my harness. So I will report back later.